good morning i'm in the greenhouse as you can see again um now when this video goes out it'll be at the beginning of june sometime we're still in may just now and i really hope that by the time you're watching this things have warmed up a bit at the minute it's still absolutely freezing ridiculous it's uh i think it said yesterday when i looked on the weather forecast uh, it was going to be eight degrees and it would feel like three i mean it's the end of may uh yeah so i'm not very happy about it <laughs> anyway here i am in the greenhouse doing some bits and bobs i'm a bit worried about my uh runner beans that you saw me put in in the video the last video or the video before last uh, it's not that long ago from now when i put them in um, and we'll also put the nematodes on the ground by the way if I happen to say <clears throat> tadgets instead of nematodes, if I ever say the word tadgets, just you know I'm talking about nematodes. For some reason, my brain's got them mixed up. <coughs> and uh, that's what comes to mind every time I think of nematodes. Anyway, my runner beans are in. However, I put them in and we immediately got some really high winds and our allotment's exposed. It's quite high up uh, for this area. And when I went back, because some of the leaves were really quite big leaves and they've been ripped straight off. I don't think it was the birds. Um, I think it's just the winds ripped them off. And also because we've just put the nematodes in the ground um, about three, four days ago, three days ago. I, I don't know how long, that, it doesn't tell you on the packet how long it actually takes before the slugs stop um, being active and die but clearly not that quick because the slug damage as well so i'm a bit worried and with the cold weather that i'm gonna lose all my bean all my french all my runner beans sorry so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna plant a bunch more now it is a bit late um end of may but i'm gonna i figure with it being so cold i can't see what difference it'll make so i'm gonna get them in and hopefully um have some space hopefully i won't need them but if i do they're there So here we are, I'm just going to put in, I think I'll put in eight of each, eight runner beans, these are the tall ones, white lady, and I've also got, these are dwarf runner beans, but look at the beautiful flowers on them, that's why I got them really, I'm going to put some of them in, I'm also going to put some of these climbing French beans in, I haven't got my French beans planted out yet, but they're not looking that great, uh, the ones that I've got. I've got them hardening off outside, so I'm going to put them in as well, just in case, just as a safety, a backup. See these white lady beans produce nice white beans like that, rather than the usual um, ones from the Scarlet um, Emperor that I've grown before, which is like a purpley black seed right there you go that's the beans up there hopefully they'll come along nicely as well as them i'll show you what else i've got sprouting in here that's some swedes I didn't put those in very long ago, but they're already germinating. And I've got a tray here with quite a few different things in. I've got cabbages. I think it's January King. Is that right? Yeah, January King. Uh, so that they'll be ready. They should be ready like through the winter up until January. I think it said sprouts. I've got sprouts already, but they are doing very poor. Um, I think if it was a baby, you would call it failure to thrive. They're like all yellow and um, we, you know, stringy and weedy look not very good at all. Um, beetroot, I've got two types of beetroot, some more spinach and some golden purslane uh, planted in there. What I'm trying to do um, this year, which I haven't succeeded at in the other years really, is to have my allotment still providing food through the winter. So I want winter cabbages and I've got broccoli going on there broccoli and leeks where are my leeks they're out hard enough but they're just tiny at the minute i did have them growing through the winter last year which was good um 
yeah and sprouts and things like that i want to really try and be successful with that this year but we'll see but all i can say is i'm glad this isn't my first year of grown veg because honestly if it was i think i would be giving up by now it's just so hard to get everything growing so if it's your first year don't give up I, this isn't normal it certainly wasn't like this the previous two years when i grew veg everything worked <laughs> This is the progress on the waterfall in the garden. Kenny's got a new liner down. He's dug all the waterfall out a bit. He's just trying to put it back together now. we fortunately lost our lavender there. You can see it toppled over. That got chopped by accident. Well, it's a few days later um, and I think at last the weather has changed and it's beautiful and warm this morning. It's only nine o'clock, half nine maybe this morning, in the morning and um, I'm already a bit too hot. So at last I'm going to get some things into the ground. I've got my peas here which are desperate to get in. I've got two types. I've got a climbing one which grows to about five foot tall. It's called alderman and I've got a dwarf bean and i've also got my french beans to put in uh, which have struggled really even in the greenhouse and as i've hardened them off uh, they're not very happy but i hope now that it's getting warmer things will start to pick up i also have these which are called asparagus peas um, i wasn't going to put them in because they're still just small as you can see and I'm not sure about the hardiness of them. However, when I've looked, there's all those roots on the bottom. So I feel as if I need to put them in. So I'm just going to put them in today and let them take their chances. They get um, a pod on them. It's like a little curly pod. Um, which you eat the whole pod and it apparently tastes like asparagus so I'm interested to see what that tastes like I've also got that which is soy edamame you get the edamame beans off them but they have only germinated well this is there one is there two uh, oh there's a teeny one there I don't know I, I'll just shove them in I don't suppose they'll do anything this is the board I'm going to put them in uh the pea, I've just made this pea frame yesterday. I've got a Tyson bit of string around it so they can clamber up there. That's for the tall ones. And I'm going to put the French beans and the dwarf beans in front of them and also those asparagus peas. Um, I've also got some more um, germinating in the, in the greenhouse. If I've got room, they'll all go in there. Actually got this mesh here I'm going to put on instead of just string. Right, that's the frame all done. It's a bit sweaty and hot today. It's amazing. I can't believe it. I'm not accustomed to this. And I'm going to get my peas in. I feel a bit uncertain about how far apart to plant them. I know when you're putting in the pea seeds, which is all I've ever done in the past, you put them very close. So I can only imagine you do the same with the plants. So that's what I'm going to do. I like to plant things close, as you know. Make sure I get the right ones in and don't put the dwarf ones in this climbing bit. 
so they're nice and tall they'll reach right up to there fantastic it actually wilted a bit for this heat Border here this was my original pea border I don't know if you remember me telling you that none of them came up well I've got about three I think that germinated for whatever reason so I'm going to take them up out of here now and I'm going to pop them in with the other peas look at that it's a great big successful pea Right, for one awful moment there, I thought I had become completely mixed up and planted uh, the dwarf beans on the frame. Anyway, crisis averted, I haven't. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So I got a fantastic pea crop last year. I've still actually got a little bag of peas left over in the freezer, which is quite amazing. And I don't think I'm going to be quite so lucky this year. And, you know, I, I haven't got as many plants because the ones I put in the ground failed me. And I don't know what it was about last year because I know a lot of people on our allotment didn't do very well for their peas. So I don't know it's just a stroke of luck on my part or what. Um, but hopefully we'll get some at any rate. So I've just popped into the shed for this bit because uh, my allotment neighbours come and I feel stupid filming in front of them. <laughs> so I'm going to plant out the dwarf French beans next in front of the peas and then I'm going to just put those asparagus peas in. I, I'm not feeling very confident. I feel um, as if the well I'm hoping the slugs won't get them because we've got those nematodes down but we'll see. I'm just going to put them in although they're a bit small but the roots a big so they need to go in the ground really so I'm going to do that now I'm going to film it silently <laughs> Whether you could see off that when I planted them, some of the uh, green beans are well, uh, quite puny for a start, and but the leaves are quite yellow. Uh, it's just because of the cold. Beans need warmth. I've sowed them too early as well, as usual. I do it every year. Definitely next year. I'm not going to sow me, be me beans until later. Uh, but yeah, they won't thrive. They can't. They can't function properly if it's uh, if it's too cold and the leaves just yellow like that. But anyway. It's warm today, boiling, and uh, hopefully that's the weather change for good to be more normal for this time of year. And the beans should come away now, I hope. I'm going to give these a really good soaking because they're de definitely wilting. So that's peas, climbing peas, dwarf peas, dwarf French beans, and asparagus peas put in there this morning. The asparagus peas. I actually didn't have a clue about how far apart to plant them so I've just treated them like peas 
which want to be quite close. I don't know whether that's right. <laughs> and I've still got some space in that border, which I'll probably just fill up with more beans when, I, when they germinate and grow a little bit. They should shoot away in this heat, shouldn't they? Well, I hope things are warming up where you are and all your veg is starting to grow. We've waited long enough, haven't we, for this to happen. Thanks for joining me and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.